Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, please subscribe. I'd really love that. If you're returning, how you doing? What we're going to be talking about today is something that I guess a lot of people have been talking about. You know, being as though we are in the community that we're in, you know, a lot of people talk about, you know, oh, you know, we're going to be Mad Max scenario and rah, 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 right? All right. Well, there is a long list of financial trouble that is coming to the United States sooner than later. And there is a commercial real estate implosion, rising interest rates, an imploding federal budget, a banana republic, political problems. But at the top of the list is the monster unpayable debt problem and the soon to be falling US dollar. Watch out for August 22nd with bricks. Okay. You can't have a third of the federal taxes paid out in interests and that number is only going to grow over time. If the markets would not collapse ahead of time, which they certainly will, but if they did not, we would get to the point where the interest would eat up all of the tax receipts. And that's a mathematic, mathematical impossibility because why? We're broke. On the other side of it, we have two rules of law. We have one rule of law that if you are a liar from the left and another rule of law, if you are a conservative and you don't support the BS rules they are putting out there. This is an illustration that this country has already become a banana republic. And I know you've heard of that term multiple times from other people, okay? The problem with that is the dollar issued by this country is the world's reserve currency, and it's a huge problem. But like I said, BRICS, August 22nd. Keep an eye out. The dollar is going to take a big hit in the next financial crisis that has already started. But the actual bottom line is Dollars are just pieces of paper backed by our government. The dollar is backed by a full faith of credit of a bankrupt, insolvent government. And the people will figure that out very quickly, which I'm sure you guys have already done. I figured it out. My best friend is an international banker. My father is one of the smartest men that ever walked on this planet, and he's got his head in finances. You know, I mean, it's, it's unbelievable. This is all we talk about when I talk to my dad, <laughs> okay? So, you know, I, I know, you know, like, I know a lot of this stuff because of my best friend and my dad, okay? I'm also very good when it comes to real estate. <laughs> So, when it comes to survival, people are not going to give up something real for nothing, right? Like, a lot of people say, are you going to invest in Bitcoin? And I'll have to go with what Trish said. If I can't physically hold it in my hand, I don't actually own it. So no, right? I, I, I just can't grasp that concept of not actually being able to touch it and hold it, and, you know what I mean? So no. And plus my dad doesn't think it's a good idea either. We are in the weeds right now when it comes to interest rates. Look at mortgage rates right now. Okay, 
They're well over 7% for a 30 year mortgage. When did you buy your house or build your house? Think about it, okay? Is your house already paid off? Did you buy or build 10 years ago, 20 years ago, whatever, okay? We built our house 19 years ago, okay? Our interest rate 19 years ago was at like three and a half percent. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it was like, holy cow. And we've been in that three and a half percent for 19 years. <gasps> but now it's like people are getting interest rates well over at like eight, nine, ten percent. And they're like, that's a great deal. No, it's not. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's going to hurt the housing. Our, the inflation, the housing bubble is starting to burst. Commercial real estate has already been destroyed. Before my mom and dad moved over to Orlando from Tampa, my, my dad had a whole bunch of like rental properties and stuff like that around here. And he said, uh, Gypsy said, I'm getting too old. Do you want them? And I said, oh, no. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to deal with any of it. So they moved over to Orlando and I ended up selling all of their rental properties because I didn't want to deal with it. So I sold every, they had like five or it's a five or six rental properties because I didn't want to have to deal with the handyman. It broke, come fix it. I can't pay this month at, ah, ah, you know, and then plus with the pandemic and then, then it, you know, I can't pay it all, uh, you know, no, because there was mortgages on those rentals. I can't afford to pay, you know, my mortgage plus six or five or six more mortgages. Ah, nope. So, and then with the moratoriums and everything else, no. So I sold all of those rental homes. And I said, there you go, dad. You're all good. You know, <laughs> I don't want them. So, cause that was, he was going to give me those. They were in the will. He was going to give them to me. And I said, no. And he said, well, for the amount of money that you sold them for, that's going to be your part of the will. I said, okay, cool. Thanks. Cause I don't want any rental properties, <laughs> but I think we are in the weeds because interest rates are at a point that nothing can be refinanced and rolled over. If you, even if you have even decent credit right now, if you're like 620, uh, you know, to 700 right now, nobody can get a loan right now. You know, you can't even refinance right now. Everything is like, everything is crazy right now. You know what I mean? And with the banks, with the way things are going right now with them, I wouldn't want to get any kind of nothing in my name right now. So, you know, this is not just my opinion. This is a mathematical equation. And like I said, this is also from talking to my best friend, Trish. This is from talking to my father. This is from listening to, you know, the best financial people in the world and soaking all this information in. Plus, this is also from my own experience. The debt cannot be paid back. Okay. I don't care what they do. All right. I don't care if who's got only fans, nobody can pay this debt back. Okay. It's not possible. We will default one way or another. We will print the crap out of the dollar and devalue it or outright non-payment. All right. We will end up in a Mad Max scenario when the credit dries up and store shelves are empty. Now credit is drying up with the money supply shrinking for eight straight months. Like I said, try and apply for anything right now. Okay. Me, I've always been that kind of person. If I can't buy it outright, I obviously don't need it. Even when it comes to like purchasing a car. Y'all know, New Year's Eve, what happened here at my house? A drunk driver 
drove up onto my property smashed into my into my son's FedEx truck smashed into my car and then drove into my house okay we were like that for months until we got a payout my garage door was like a pretzel I didn't have the money on hand to fix nothing. So you can imagine the security breach that we had living without a car. We had one car. We had my son's car because my, my daughter-in-law wasn't here. She had the car. Okay. But my car completely totaled. It was literally in the shape of a V because of what this drunk driver did. And you know, they were only ticketed for careless driving. Why? Because it happened at 3.30 in the morning and we didn't see them get out of the car. Yeah. So, moral of the story is, I didn't go and finance a car just because I needed a car. Uh-uh, I'll wait, thanks. I got my payout, then I went and bought a car. I paid $7,500 for a used car by owner because I don't go to car dealerships because I ain't paying fee after fee after fee after fee after fee after fee I'm not doing it so the Mad Max world is now looking like it's going to come true sooner than later but this is why we prep right so get your house in order get your finances in order that's it all right y'all i'm out i'll see you in the next one okay i'll you stay safe you stay positive you keep prepping and as always fearless ciao